Okay, so we got a 40 amp breaker and it will just not reset no matter what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take it out, disconnect the load, verify that it is the breaker that's going bad. And in order to do that, the first step is going to be to score the paint all the way around and take off these six screws. Okay, now we're in the panel. So we're gonna be disconnecting these two wires here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and uh, we'll be right back. Make sure you're using a, a screwdriver with an insulated handle and it's just a flathead screwdriver. This is actually pretty loose connections. There we go. Right, so we got a pair of needle nose also insulated. Go ahead and remove these wires out of the way. And we'll check and see. And you can see even with the wires disconnected, the breaker just trips, so we'll have to replace it. Best way you can grab it right here and you can pull free the breaker and now I can grab this side and just pull it out it's got two little clips on it we've got our new breaker here um, you can either install the wires now or you can put it back in and then install the wires which I think I'm gonna do here's your little plastic bar back there that one side clips on and then the other two areas are right there where it clips on so we're gonna go back in the same way got the back side pushed in and now we got to connect this side so we'll just push it down like that we're gonna leave the breaker off and reattach our wires. Okay, so I'm tightening the last wire connection here. They need to be tight, but you don't wanna to go too tight that you break something. So let's see. Yeah, that feels good. That feels good. You can give the wires a tug, make sure they're in there secure. Turn the breaker back on and we should be good to go. What I usually do is just get two screws hand tight and then you can put the other ones in and screw them all down.